Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Prince Automation Destination. This said Prince, welcome once again to our PTD Cucumber series. And so far we have executed our test cases in Cucumber using the Cucumber Runner. But today we are going to talk about how to execute our test cases using Maven because we are using Maven as a build tool and using Maven also we can execute our test cases. This is useful when you want to execute your test cases in the pipeline and when we want to execute locally that time also you can utilize Maven uh, execution uh, but generally when we execute our test cases locally we run it through the Cucumber Runner right so for pipeline purpose generally we need to run our test cases using the Maven in case we are using Maven as a build tool and if we are using Gradle as a build tool then we need to utilize Gradle to execute the test cases right so uh, how to execute our test cases in Maven. So in Maven, Maven actually is a plugin based build tool. We'll be discussing more about Maven when we'll be uh, having a separate discussion on Maven, which I'll be creating soon. And uh, so far you can understand that there is one plugin which is responsible for test case execution that is Shofar plugin. There is another plugin as well that is Failsafe plugin. But as part of current lecture, we'll be talking about Shofar plugin only. So Surefire plugin is responsible for execution of test cases in Java. Now, uh, we don't explicitly need to provide Surefire. So we, we can provide Surefire in the pom.xml and we cannot even provide the Surefire plugin in the pom.xml. In both the cases, test case will execute, but the cases are different. So if we are not providing a Surefire plugin in the pom.xml, in that case, what, uh, how the test case will execute? So first of all, the command. To execute the test cases is MVN test. So this is one Maven lifecycle. We'll be discussing more again in the Maven series. So MVN test is responsible for execution of test cases. So what happens is uh, like Surefire plugin, right? Surefire plugin with default configuration because we are not providing it into the form.xml. So it will look for the classes having test at the end in the src test java section so as you know that in cucumber we execute our test cases using runner so what we have to do is we'll have to uh, post fix test at the end of the runner right so let me go to the practical demonstration for this particular case okay so now i'm going here so first of all i'm showing you this is my form.xml and uh, if i'll show you show fire so i don't have show fire right even though I have, but it is uh, commented, right? So what I will do, I will reload this project, right? So it is reloading. It will download any dependency if it is available. And now what we will do is, so you see that this test, uh, right? The one that we are using, where we are pointing to features, then we are pointing to the glue, then we're providing the tags, right? And these are the plugin for the reporting purpose, right? So now you will see as per the slide, what we need is, uh, we need a runner that should end with test. So what we will do first, first we'll try to execute without providing test at the end of the runner, right? So let us see. So you see that uh, uh, it has not executed any test cases because runner is not ending with test, right? So in order to execute runner with test, uh, what we need to do is we need to end this particular runner or any runner or any class in this SRC test Java with uh, test at the end, right? So this is one thing. Secondly, if you will notice, even though we haven't provided surefire in the pom.xml, it is still appearing that what is happening. So first of all, if I'll uh, take a look at this, so when we type MVN test, so first of all, it is scanning the project. It is building the resources. Then it is compiling the sources. Then it is uh, doing the test resource, uh, test resources, right? Then test compilation. And at last it is doing the test, right? So when it is trying to do test, it is showing Shofar plugin. So how this Shofar comes? So when we are not providing in pom.xml, so this uh, Maven, uh, like uses the default configuration of Surefire plugin. So I'll be discussing about that. Now, in order to execute these test cases, so as per the slide, what we need to do, we need to configure or rename this UI test runner with, let me give it some name. I'll add it with test, right? When I will do refactor, so let me refactor it, meaning I have re-changed uh, the name, right? Now, this data table as a list, this is one test case. Let me show you. So in resources, in features, we have this data table 
and data table as a list so this is the test case where we are what we are doing is we are launching the url we are entering credentials we are clicking on login and then after we are verifying these products right now what i will do i will execute this case test cases so mvn test this time so when i will do mvn test this time so you will see that it will point to ui test runner uh, test ng test so we'll see in the surefire plugin in the console right so you see that surefire report runner running ui test runner test ng test so it is able to locate this particular class and is able to execute the test cases right now you see that it has executed the test cases to show you, to show you that it executed this particular test case i can open this particular uh, extent report so what i will do i will simply go here and open it into the edge right so today is 10th of june and if you will observe it has executed this particular test case so where it is launching source demo first then it is entering credentials and then it is clicking on login and at last it is verifying the product right so this is what was the test case so it is able to execute this particular test case which was pointing into the ui test tunnel right so this is one way when we don't want to provide surefire plugin right but how surefire plugin is appearing so if i show you maven actually create this is a form.xml provided by us right but apart from that maven creates its own effective form as well so let me show you so i'm right clicking on the project going into the maven section and going to show you show effective form so when you will come to this show effective form you will find somewhere show a file plugin so because of this particular show for plugin we are able to execute the test cases so to confirm that this is the same plugin which is getting used for the testing let me show you the version so so you see that maven show for plugin 2.12.4 so this is how the test cases are getting executed using this default show for plugin configured by maven in the effective form right now we have discussed how to execute our test cases without explicitly providing show for plugin second case is with explicit show for plugin right so in this case what we will do is we will add show for plugin in the pom.xml build section so i have already copied this particular thing and i can I, i'll be sharing the link of this where you can download it from right so what we'll be doing in this case is so outside dependencies right so if i talk about maven so let me show you so it starts with project then it has uh, this uh, dependency section so outside dependency section we need to create one build section under build we need to maintain one plugin management plugins and then plugin right so now in shofar plugin there are two uh, there is one configuration section so there are two approaches when we are explicitly providing shofar plugin first one is point to runner in shofar plugin under test section right so under configuration first of all what we'll be doing is we'll be writing test and in this test what we'll be doing is runner dot ui runner test ng test but what i will do first of all i will refactor it and will remove test right because this was required in the previous case it will work in this case as well but i don't want to create confusion that's why i'm removing it right now what will happen with this is when we will run this particular test case mvn test right because we have configured show for plugin and then after we are pointing to this particular runner in the test section of the configuration right so now you will see that show for plugin which will appear this time is 3.1.2 so this is 3.1.2 and when the execution will take place running runner dot ui test runner so this is how the execution will take place and it will execute the same test case so to show you that it is using this 3.1.2 sure for plugin this time instead of default which was in the effective form last time when we didn't provide the sure for plugin explicitly in the pom.xml and it is running runner.ui test runner test entry right now as uh, there is another way uh, the another way is as we are already using cucumber with test entry so what we can do is we can create test entry xml and in the point uh, in the test entry xml we can point to the runner class and then we can configure this test ng xml in the show for plugin under the suit xml files right so let me show you 
so this is ui test tender right which is integrated with test ng so this class is responsible for integration of test ng so uh, we have already used test ng.xml so let me show you so this is the test ng xml and in this test ng xml itself uh, what we have done is we are pointing to this particular ui test tender right uh, ui test tender test ng right so runner dot ui test tender dot test ng right ui test tender test ng i mean right now uh, what we need to do in this case is we don't need this test section this time instead what we can do is we can use suite xml files and under that suite xml file right so we can configure multiple suite xml files so i've added one so what we need to do here is test ng dot xml right so test ng dot xml which is available in root that's why i'm not providing any location right now if i will execute my test cases i should be able to execute my test cases this time again so you see that it is saying running test suit this time it is not pointing to this so through running test suit it is pointing to the runner file so we are able to execute the test case once again so this is how we can execute our test cases through maven so let me quickly recap what we have covered as part of current lecture so we discussed how we can execute maven uh, uh, test cases using maven we discussed the purpose of using maven for execution then we discussed that surefire plugin is responsible for test case execution so first we discussed how we can execute our test cases without providing the explicit uh, without explicitly providing show for plugin in the pom.xml and we discussed about options then we discussed how we can execute our test cases by providing show for plugin explicit in the pom.xml and we discussed two approaches one by providing the runner in the test section another by providing the test ng xml in the suit xml section and this is what i wanted to cover as part of current video and in the next lecture what we'll be discussing is uh, we'll be discussing about how we can pass these cucumber options through the maven commands on the fly right uh, so this is what we'll be discussing next so thank you for watching guys i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again